Thanks for stopping by. This is Tom, and this is Tom's Radio Room Show. And as you can see, I've got a real mess here. This week I have really fallen behind. I just, I can't believe how many things came up this week all at the same time. And um, I am uh, a shambles, a shambles. But anyway, I, I want to kind of catch up on a few things and addressed a couple of questions slash comments that I got this week that I need to uh, respond to because I'm again falling behind and quick quickly I'll show you what this mess is on my desk um, let me zoom down a little bit here that, that didn't do anything anyway um, I'll just pick this up okay this is one thing I got in this week which is a smart battery charger and it charges all kinds of batteries it charges these uh, 3.7 volt batteries and it'll charge regular AA and those types of batteries also and I think it will charge up to a C maybe maybe not maybe just AAA and AA's and then it charges all sizes of these um, fat batteries I call them the 18650 which is this one and then they have different whoa different numbers <laughs> depending on their size and uh, <clears throat> like I say it's an intelligent charger gives you a lot of information I'm going to do a review of that when I get to it okay so that's one thing that's backed up on my desk uh, I have another hopefully I have another one coming from another company I have um, asked for a demo version of it and that, so far they haven't responded but that was just yesterday so hopefully they will send me that so I can compare those two I, I did many many months ago I did a review of my other tester smart tester but it is only for um, double A's and triple A's and those size batteries doesn't it's not new enough technology to address these types of batteries which these are the ones I'm interesting right now interested in right now because <clears throat> um, I bought some shells battery pack shells as I did a review of those in a couple of shows ago with the idea of putting my own individual batteries in those shells versus a battery pack so that'll be coming up soon the latest thing which I got yesterday is a speaker. This is a either a direct coupled USB speaker or a Bluetooth speaker. And uh, it also has the capability of playing MP3 files off of a SD card. And this was supplied to me by Banggood. Banggood uh, for review, so we'll be checking that out soon. Be kind of interesting. And it comes uh, with a remote. Okay, so that's kind of where we're at and why there's such a mess on my desk. Hope to get this cleaned up and do those two reviews and then get back on track again. Now, to address some comments that I've gotten recently and questions is regarding um, using a shortwave radio with its internal telescopic antenna inside your house and specifically the two or three questions I got were related to what re reception would be like in an apartment a person lives in an apartment not allowed to put up an external antenna so he would have to use the built-in built-in telescopic antenna and let me preface by saying I'm no expert I'm not the expert I'm just another guy that has some experiences that I try to convey to you and I put my hands in front of the screen too much okay sorry about that anyway um, let me kind of address those questions 
and specifically address the questions where they want to they either want to get a shortwave radio and use it inside a house or apartment without an external antenna or they have one and they're not getting good reception okay as I've mentioned one too many times in the last few shows is shortwave conditions are not good right now but they change rapidly like this morning and that's what I had on this morning this morning they're great um, but you know for the past week they've been terrible and it's like my radio was broken and I'm using an external antenna for gosh sakes and there goes my hand again I'm sorry about that um, so that's one thing you have to keep in mind you know if you have gotten a uh, little shortwave radio and you're not getting anything on it it might be the band conditions uh, how it's affected by space conditions which have been pretty radical lately in not just the radio or not just your location so keep that in mind okay secondly uh, as I've shown in several videos ideally you want to have some kind of external antenna outside your apartment or house uh, because there are lots of things in your house or your apartment that can interfere with shortwave reception and I've mentioned that many times about my office here I have a lot of RF noise that interferes with shortwave reception and I have to use an external antenna sometimes when conditions are perfect and all the stations are really strong I can get them using a telescopic antenna but that's very unusual for me so I normally if I'm in my office I will use an external antenna uh, the antenna I happen to use is a G5 RV antenna and that that solves that problem and what I do is I have the antenna of course is outside and it comes in through a coax shielded cable so that once it gets into this room it's not getting interference onto the cable that goes to the radio so I have to use that shielded cable and I use very heavy shielded cable to keep that RF noise out of that cable that could get into the radio so that's one thing I have to do um, where was I going? Oh my gosh, I don't know where I'm going. Okay, anyway, um, there are things you can do and you can get away with um, trying to receive in your house or in your apartment with the telescopic antenna. Number one, you want to eliminate anything that can provide that RF noise. Um, some big areas that provide a lot of interference is your computer, your monitor if you have a monitor uh, instead of a laptop. Turn those things off. They cause a lot of interference. Another thing that causes a lot of interference is if you have a uh, cable hookup for your internet access, turn that modem off. That modem can cause a lot of interference. If you have an external router so that you can get multiple outputs from your cable provider which I have that's the way my setup is because my provider charges extra to have a cable modem with four or five outputs plus wireless which is basically a router they charge extra for that so I just bought my own router okay lights um, lights will cause interference incandescent lights and fluorescent lights especially will cause interference. Turn off as many of those as you can or get as far away from those things as you can. You know, maybe you can go into another room in your apartment. So that's one thing to keep in mind. Another thing to keep in mind is do you have access to an outside window? If your apartment is buried down inside the complex and you don't have a what I would call an outside wall out a la window apartment, you're probably going to have problems because there's just you got 
if you have several walls to go through to the outside and those walls have you know steel girders or anything like that that's going to reduce your receiving capabilities so if you have an outside window then set up your radio close to that window as possible and it will depend on the which direction that window is facing what you will receive also so if you want to like for instance if you're in the United States and you want to receive uh, transmissions from Europe then ideally you would have a east facing window again all this stuff is just my limited knowledge I'm no expert and if you if you have some suggestions or some corrections please put them in the comments so that people can see them appreciate that uh, what else um, so if you can get an extra window that's ideal you can also put up a little wire antenna around that window again staying away from the metal parts of the window other things I've shown you is the use of a loop antenna for um, receiving and putting again putting in that window let me see if I can uh, it's not going to show up very good I'll try to show you I'll try to show you one Okay, let's see if I can move the camera around temporarily. Okay, right there, see it kind of dangling? I touched it. See it kind of dangling? That's a loop antenna that you can get off of Amazon, for instance. And um, that will help you. And it's right now, it's not in the proper place. It should be put in a window. Um, but um, I, just, I just have it hanging over there out of the way because I'm not using it. And there's an attachment that goes on the bottom to a little amplifier box. That will help. Again, you can put that in your apartment if you have uh, an outside window. You can also put it there, of course, if you don't, and but the results will probably be not as good as it would be if you had a window. So that's another thing you can do. Um, now, the, another person this morning, or last night, sent me a comment about um, could I show them, because they were, they're interested in buying this particular radio, the um, Grundig 750, could I show them the, re, the capability, I'll say, of this radio using the telescopic antenna? Well, number one, as I mentioned before, it, the results I get in this office, in this environment, would is totally unsatisfactory. As, and I mentioned why, because of all the interference. So I, only, I don't use the telescopic antenna on this radio, not at all. So I use an external antenna. But even, and the other thing is, I've got it hooked up to the antenna. I've got it hooked to my computer. I've got external speakers. So it'd be a little cumbersome to disconnect everything and move it not to mention I got a mess here so I don't really want to move it but even if I did even if I did move it and say I moved it down to my workshop which is not quite as bad as far as RF noise and uh, I hope to get down there and do more videos down there now that it's cooled off a little bit here in Florida even if I did that, the results I got would not necessarily reflect the results you're going to get because of my location, of the conditions around me, the environment as far as RF noise, the what the conditions were at the time I recorded the video. So it, it, it would probably be misleading at best. For instance, if I didn't get very good reception, 
and you and you conclude, well, it's not a very good radio. Well, it might be that that particular environment uh, was not good for reception, wrong time of the day, whatever. And so, recept and I and I do this, but I always try to caveat with the fact that. When I'm doing reception tests, it's not necessarily what you're going to get. And you'll see, when you're looking at reviews of radios, you'll see a totally mixed bag. You know, one person will say, this is the greatest radio in the world, and it works great, the great reception, and all this stuff. And then you see another report that says, I couldn't get anything on this radio, this is a piece of junk, you know, don't buy it. Because they have different environments different things going on at that particular time that they're testing. So, again, it won't do me much good or the person that's asking the question for me to do a reception report of this radio in my office. It was just me misleading. Now, what I did tell the person was look at, look on the internet for other reviews and look at, find as many reviews as you can to get kind of an overall flavor of how well this radio works. I would say in general that this this is one of the better radios in this price range. This is about $250 right now in this price range for shortwave listing. It has a lot of features. It, it's not the best. Not the best at all. I mean you can spend, as uh, Scott showed us, uh, on his radio, his, I don't know, I think that radio cost about $12,000. You know, now, now you're talking about a radio that is the Cadillac, so to speak. So, you have to keep that in mind. Plus, you can get radios for around $50 that will do a very good job. Again, depending on conditions. Your environment, space weather, stuff like that. So, that's kind of my overall answer to those questions is if you live in an apartment yes you can still get get good reception you need an outside antenna best case a antenna in a window outside you know facing uh, out, our outside window um, to put a put your radio up against that window maybe you can put a table there or a desk there right under the window kind of like I have here. There's my window right there. The problem with this room is there's too much junk in this room. I have I have like six computers on right now and like I say the modem and all that stuff. So it, it's just a it's just a bed of RF noise. So it's not conducive to listening to shortwave therefore I have to use external antenna. And you'll see quite often that when I'm showing a radio in this room I will plug in an external antenna. So, hope that uh, answers the questions. Um, again, I am no expert. No, no, no. I am not the expert. So, if you enjoyed the show, please give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Our subscriber um, numbers are really going up now that it's turned winter time. That's what the YouTube consultant told me, that things will get a lot better in the winter time. And, uh, hope to do the quickly, uh, I mean, in not too distant future, do the review of the charger and this uh, MP3 player speaker. So thanks for watching. Have a great weekend. Bye-bye.